Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create this simple, easy camera lock effect in After Effects. Let's go. Hey, What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'm gonna to really quickly show you guys how you can create this sick, easy camera lock effect for your music videos. I remember seeing this effect in the sicko mode music video from like Drake and Travis. That like blew my mind. It was just like super dope and it just creates a bunch of crazy motion blur. All you'll be needing today is After Effects, no plugins at all required. But really quickly, I just wanna let you know if you're looking to spice up your music video game and also speed up your editing workflow, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net, link in the description. There we just dropped our new artificial artificial camera preset pack called the Shake It Up preset pack. It's really dope. We have a bunch of artificial camera movements that you can literally just drag and drop to your footage. It's super easy to use. So definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. And also we got a bunch of other crazy music video effect preset packs. So definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. And if you use this promo code right here, you can get an exclusive 40% off your first purchase. 40% guys, you are basically robbing me. And all right guys, now without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're inside of After Effects, of course have your clip loaded up. Now make sure that you have a subject that stays pretty much in frame the entire shot. So right here, I have this clip of Drizzy. You know, Drizzy sent this to me, it was crazy. We edited this project. I'm just kidding, dude. that'd be cool though. The first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna come over here to your tracker and we are going to select stabilize motion. Now you're gonna see a little nice stabilizing tracking point is gonna appear. And then we're gonna take this point right here. You're gonna select the inner box right here and you're just going to drag it. Now this is very important. We're gonna drag it to an area that is always gonna be visible throughout the entirety of the shot. I'm gonna select like the corner of his like eyelid right here because this, this little corner is gonna be visible throughout the entire shot. Now there's two things to keep note of. This inner square right here is basically the area that it's gonna be tracking. So this is like the area. And then this outer box right here, you can make it a little bit larger. And this is gonna be like the range of movement that this little inner area might move in between frames. So let's say if this box moves from here to like over here, it'll still be inside of the range of this, this outer box. But let's say if it moves to like out over here, then we're gonna wanna make sure the box is like way bigger. You know what I mean? Anyways, the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna select your area and you just drag a, the inner box to a nice little small area. And then once you're done, you have your two boxes set, you can just go ahead and hit the analyze forward key and you'll see that After Effects is going to go ahead and track that motion. Now it did it pretty fast. Zoom in and make sure that there are no mess ups throughout the entirety of the shot right here. So as you can see, it looks like it starts on our eyelid and then all of a sudden it just jumps over here to the other eyelid because I guess it thought that that was the same picture and then it just started tracking that and that kind of messed up the tracking of it. So if that ever occurs and there's something big and really bad like that, you can just go ahead and just command Z undo and then just redo the tracking. So I'm just gonna keep this, this box, this inner box a little bit wider and close in this outer box so that we have a smaller, closer tracking range. I'm gonna be honest, it might take a couple tries, but just go ahead and run it a couple times until you get a good track. Voila, there we go. Looks like we have a pretty good track right there. So the key for this one was making the inner box a little bit bigger. So once you're happy and you have a good track, let's say maybe if one of the frames is like messed up, like this one frame is like that, you can just go ahead and select these frames and just redrag them and adjust them to the path. Once you're done and you have a good track, you can just go ahead and simply hit apply, make sure it's selected on X and Y dimensions and hit OK. And now you'll see, voila, we have a nice camera track. Now what we're gonna do is, look, we have a bunch of crazy like edges going on right here. We don't want that. You're just gonna simply scale this up right here. I'm gonna be honest, that's pretty much it. Just go ahead and scale up your image. Make sure you have a very high quality video that you're shooting with. There you go, you have a pretty decent track. Now it's time to go ahead and apply some effects. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click our layer, we're gonna hit new, and then we're just gonna create a new adjustment layer. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add some motion blur. Now depending on how much like footage motion movement, camera movement you have going on, you you can either use two methods. You can use CC force motion blur, which if you type it right here, you can go ahead and apply this to your adjustment layer. Now this really works if you have a lot of camera movement. So the camera's moving a lot, there's gonna be a lot of motion blur, but for our case scenario, we don't have that much camera movement. So we're just gonna go on to the second method, which is going to be the CC radial blur. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and type in our second method under the effects and presets. Uh oh, it looks like we typed in like and subscribe. Oh. I guess you have to like and subscribe now. That's that's crazy, please. Thank you. We're gonna type in radial blur right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the CC radial blur effect and you're gonna apply this to your adjustment layer. Be very intentional. Adjustment layer, not the original clip. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the amount to something like 
Uh, let's do like five or four. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag our anchor point right here and we're gonna drag it to the center area where the locking occurs. And now you can see that that motion blur is always going to be centered around the center of the motion tracking. And voila, there we go. We have a pretty sick motion camera lock effect. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's pretty dope. This is just a really dope effect that you can go ahead and apply to your music videos and projects. And also if you're looking to add some extra artificial camera movement, I recommend you go ahead and check out 11percent.net. There we just dropped our new Shake It Up preset pack for Premiere Pro. Literally just drag and drop presets, camera movement like this, this effect that we created, but it's all entirely a preset. Saves you a bunch of time. Without further ado, here's the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you found any of this video helpful or valuable, please be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so really it means a lot to me in this channel. Once again, make sure to check out 11percent.net if you're definitely interested in speeding up your workflow and also raising your prices for your clients. The sauce I spilled there is absolutely insane, and when I say insane, it's like insane. We have preset packs ranging from our artificial camera shake all the way to 3D Chrome VFX assets, so definitely dope stuff you don't want to miss out on. Also remember to join us at the 11% Discord server. And once again, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.